Some of these trees definitely look to be in a pretty precarious position, almost ready to fall on top of some of the monuments here. Wow, this one is incredibly elaborate. Not very deep though. Quite a bit of amazing stained glass though. There is a little bit of damage. You can see that this here has been knocked over and then somehow made it all the way out under the plants. And it might actually be this one here that made it that far. I don't know, maybe one of them's been missing completely. So kind of sad there, but overall it seems to be doing quite amazing and incredibly tall. just spotted this too since I couldn't see inside the mausoleum I didn't realize that there was actually this epic bit of stained glass in the back look at this scene it is a leprechaun standing on top of a mushroom and then there's a cat over here a raccoon looks like that might be I can't tell if that's a pot of gold. And then a ton of, I'm assuming, clover at the top, although it doesn't appear that any of them are four leaf clovers, but that is so cool. So, over here too is. A, I believe a famous tennis player. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below if you know them. I'm not incredibly familiar with the name. However, it does appear that it was a big part of their life. And so I'm assuming they were a fairly big name in sports probably. Look at this right here. I love finding these cool little details like this. Very interesting depictions on here. You can see there's a whole scene of a building here and then some sort of coat of arms up here. Pretty good view of the inside, thankfully, uh, through this very, very small break in the mesh wire that is surrounding most of the glass on the door.
here's another mausoleum here. Okay, there's another name there. So somebody was just over here taking photos. This is actually the grave of James Whitcomb Riley. And lots of people have left pennies here. Well, this one looks like it has a lot of damage on it. You can see pieces that have fallen here to the ground. Uh, I'm not sure if they're off of the top or if it was decorations along the side here. It kind of looks like maybe they're separate memorials. sure how well you can actually see but there has been a decent amount of damage on the inside here that we can see through the vents and on the ground a lot of beer cans and pop cans and things like that could have blown in but probably more than likely was used as sort of a private party spot and so they sealed it up so no one could use it and from the outside here with all the brick up at the top you can tell that it actually was the mausoleum that began to fall apart and a lot of these pieces on the ground are what used to be up top here Unfortunately, it was absolutely impossible to see inside. But you can tell that this one still has intact stained glass. An interesting looking uh, ventilation system here.
So we're definitely taking another chance. I really doubt this is gonna work. Whoa, it actually was unlocked. I didn't think we were gonna get inside at all. How amazing is this? Uh, this is much like the one that we were in before. And get a glimpse of what they actually look like inside from here. Let's see, there's a veteran's marker over there. Some of these are actually brand new, so I don't want to film those. But wow, what an incredible place. Not too often that you actually get to see the insides of not only the building, but of the crypts themselves. But really cool and amazing stained glass as well. Dating right there, showing uh, the date that this place was uh, completed in uh, Roman numerals up there. How cool is this little pathway? And right on the other side of the river from where we were at the other little hidden path that I could actually drive down. And you can kind of, well I guess you can't really see it very well. Check out uh, the view that we can get inside. Now this mesh always proves to be really hard, but I think we might be able to do it. And another one that only appears to be half used. 